Um, before we play some games, I wanted to just uh, do a little bit of a reaction to something. Because reactions make for the best YouTubes. I'm trying to get my Marvelous Chats page up in subscribers. And it seems if I react to stuff blindly, YouTube seems to love that shit. So, we're going to react to something. This idea of the... Oh my god, my ears, my ears, my ears. Sorry, it's too loud. So, this is a video of a behind-the-scenes look at the Penguin. So we're going to check this out. I haven't watched it yet. But let's check it out. I fucking love this show. Gotham is a microcosm of our world. This idea of the high and the low. I wanted to tell a class disparity story in our show. Whose name's on the bridge versus who actually got their hands dirty. Batman is looking guns. down at the city. Oz is looking up, wanting to get to that penthouse. I like it. In the it. comic books, the penguin comes from money. His family's very important. It was apparent to me that Oz shouldn't be that type of character. He doesn't have the kind of things at his disposal that the Falcone or Moroni families have. He really has to create. Liam's talking shit about me in Discord. <laughs> what else is new? From the ground up. You want oh, Colin. when you're hungrier if you have less. You can really look at the whole series as being about real estate. What was exciting to me was to explore this world of Gotham, the idea of the parts like of Matt the Reeves. city that are insulated, what such privilege insulates you from. These things can exist side by side. The show's so fucking good, man. Oh, How many episodes are left? Nice. Two. That's because you're looking far away. But the rich neighborhoods. If you were out there... Oh, by the way, sorry, if anyone's watching this in the chat right now, or if you're watching this on YouTube, there's probably some supporters for the series. So, you might want to tune in for five minutes, four minutes. Looking back at Crown Point, you'd say, man, what a shithole. Oh, Sharky, it's going to be a great Point, though it's one of the poorer parts of Gotham, there's a lot of love there. There's a lot of vibrancy there. The love in his life sort of comes in and around that neighborhood. You normally won't hear about this story, Victor. this Victor. kid. He's doing such a great job. He doesn't Victor. really have much that he's looking forward to in life. Oz comes along and lets him see that there's more to it than what you... That was one of my favorite scenes in the whole show when they sat down to dinner. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful scene. Got ahead of you right now. I can relate to that in a way. I didn't grow up with a super fortunate financial situation. Your eyes kind of open up once you see a different world. To feel like you're making moves. You're really in the game now. The game of life. I believe in you, kid. Got it? Mm -hmm. does, Co does Colin have a special needs son? Yes, so his son has Angel Man Syndrome. Which I believe is a very rare automotive disease. So I don't think he has like proper use of his body or something. I don't really know too much about it. He ran the Dublin City Marathon yesterday. Um, or sorry, on Sunday. And he did it with, like, a woman in a wheelchair and kind of just pushed her along for, like, the last 10K of the marathon. He's an absolute... I know he plays a villain <laughs> for DC, but he's a fucking hero. This is us. You come from a poor neighborhood and you drive across the bridge into Bristol Township where the Falcons live, a place Victor has never been to. Damn. It's just emblematic of wealth. Oz comes from nothing. And here are the Mark Strong has done such a fucking incredible job as Carmine. I'm just sad it hasn't it wasn't him all along. The Falcons who have everything that he wants. You are my Sophia driver, as well. that is all you she's want. So good. Stop talking. I've never sorry for all the pauses. I've never thought of her as much of an actress, but she's blowing me away in this show. She's incredible. Drive. Introducing us to Sophia, to a woman who is the daughter of Carmine Falcone. She's a rich mafia princess who has never wanted for anything. If you're born into money, you don't have to struggle. Zhao is here to see me. Not my former driver. Remember that. Oh shit. Shots fired. Gotham is this place where people can live these forsaken lives and it creates these lives of tremendous desperation. To feel marginalized by some physical attribute you were born with, Ugh. marginalized by poverty, marginalized foot by struggle. On planet Earth. Lauren did such a really extraordinary job laying those things out. Those that are above are not taking care of the people that they make a vow to take care of. Families are living in the dark, the freezer. The power imbalance needs to be and can be righted. The fact 
It'd be so funny if people didn't know who Colin Farrell was. They'd be like, who's this guy talking? What's he got to do with the show? Like, that is the penguin. Cats are across <laughs> the bridge drinking their $5,000 bottles of wine. They run shit. We eat shit. Why the hell not us? Oz always speaks to the little guy. He appeals to them. And Oz becomes the guy who motivated these other gang members to take power. Living in desperation. That was and then a great having scene. that chance to grab at beers. more. It's this kind of dark American dream story. The take him back got them. Boost. Hell yeah. Love it. Love it. I absolutely love this show. I cannot wait to rewatch it, to just binge the whole thing. It's just one of those shows where you can just finish it and just start it again. I really feel like that. Like, I think it's going to be... It's it's like, I, I really enjoy it every week. I know some people don't. They think it's a little slow, and I can understand that. But I, I just love those kind of, like, criminal kind of um, gangster crime dramas. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just, I, I love the whole kind of double cross and triple cross and all this sort of stuff. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, highly recommend it. Anyone who's watching it or hasn't watched it yet, you're going to fucking love it. And then I think it's going to lead directly into Batman 2. So, absolutely hyped.